I'm and you know why they call it a tulip glass, right? Because it's shaped like a tulip, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> <laughs> just make it show. Some folks be like, I don't know what. I thought it was a trick question. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Stickman Podcast. I am Reggie Kimball, Stickman number one, and I'm here with my boy. Stickman Simp, y'all. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, hey, welcome to the podcast again. You know how we do it. If you like a good cigar, if you like good whiskey, you like some good conversation while you're doing it, you came to the right place. Hopefully, we will educate. That's our goal, all right? What's been up, Simp? Man, uh, just enjoying life. Uh, we had our... Um, our Stickman Smoker series a couple Ooh. of days ago. Yeah, I'm still recovering. I don't you, know about you, but you I, ain't the only one still recovering. Dude, man. So those who don't know, man, Stickman Smoker series, mm -hmm. something we started a couple months ago. We actually had our second one on Thursday night at Truly Cigars mm -hmm. in Marietta. It was off the chain. It was off the chain. It was great. <sighs> we were vibing. Everybody had a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to uh, Truly Cigars yes. uh, for allowing us to use their um, spot. Thank you, Tracy. Appreciate you much. Yes, sir. Appreciate you much. Hey, so Edgewood Heavy was in the house. Mm -hmm. For those who haven't seen Edgewood Heavy perform, man, whoo, they brought the house down, man. Listen. These cats are ridiculous. ridiculous. Very talented. Very talented. Can sing music all across the gambit mm -hmm. and uh, just just very entertaining. Yeah. Really good. Really good. Yeah, good stuff, man. We had um, ASW Distillery in the house. Mm -hmm. We had uh, ATL Cigars. Matter of fact, what are we puffing on today? We puffing on a little ATL cigar. Yeah, that good trouble. That good trouble. Yeah. Named after John Lewis. Yes, sir. Good trouble. Yes, sir. Love it. Love Getting it. in some good trouble today. Oh, yeah. On the podcast. Most definitely. <laughs> that's what, that's you what know? we're going to do. That's yes, what we're going to do. Let's do this. Let's do this. So hey, anyway, today we're going to be doing a little review. But before we get to the review, uh, we already told you what we're puffing on. Uh, before we start the sipping part, which is the fun part. Oh, yes. Which is the truly the fun part. Uh, man, football season's about to start, brother. We just a couple of couple of weeks away from uh, training camp. Yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. The whole, oh. Hey, and the defending champs. I was watching them this morning, right? Oh my God! Uh, if oh, I hadn't God. said before in the past, you've said it several before, times in okay. the past, okay. quite a few times. All right. So just in case you don't know, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers they was practicing this morning, uh, getting ready to defend that title. <laughs> Uh, and I, I talked to uh, Coach Arias, and he did say he was going to send me one of those rings, too. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. I might, it, it's in the mail. Yeah. It's in the mail. The ring is in the mail. The, the way that <laughs> ring look, I'm quite sure they won't send that in the mail. They'll have to send that special delivery or something. If I actually right. had some money, I would buy my own, but mm -hmm. uh, I ain't got that type of money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, football right around the corner. We got the Olympics going on right now. Mm -hmm. Um and I just I was watching I was watching track and field last night, mm -hmm. and uh, the ladies track and field. And there was this lady from uh, love the ladies from, track and field, no yeah, doubt. Of course, this lady from Great Britain, <laughs> Tiffany Porter. So you know yeah. they talk a little bit about her. Uh -huh. It's like yeah, uh, she's in Great Britain. Mm -hmm. uh, grew up in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Okay. And I was like, what? Ypsilanti. So Ips those who don't know, that's where Simp is from. Where is Ypsilanti? Ypsilanti is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about 20 minutes outside of Detroit, uh, five minutes uh, away from Ann Arbor, Michigan. So, yeah, so that, that was pretty. That was, that that, was that's a small trivia. world, man. I'm, I'm, it's amazing. It's her third one. She uh, graduated from University of, University of Michigan, and she's the uh, only athlete to ever qualify for three I wonder Olympics. if she was a British citizen before. I don't you I know what, how I all that happened. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I think she either just moved there, but you know, I'm quite sure you can look her up. Tiffany Porter, mm -hmm. congratulations, uh, coming out of Ypsilanti, Michigan. Of course, I'm rooting for oh, yeah. uh, the U.S. I'm rooting USA. for all the Americans. So, That's right. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it, y'all. Yeah. Bring home the gold. Bring home the gold. What you think about all this uh, hoopla and conversation around Simone Biles and all that stuff, man? You know, and and um, I was listening to. Uh, Big Game podcast, Big Game James. Yeah, shout out to Big Game James. Big Game James podcast. Yeah. Uh, and he, he said something that resonated and it made sense. He said some of these people, whether it's um, sports writers, other podcasts, they want to say something negative mm -hmm. about her just to 
boost their ratings or what have you. Mm -hmm. You know, an athlete who performs on a high level like she does mm -hmm. knows her body more mm -hmm. than anybody. That's right. And so for her to do that, to pull out at a time she did mm -hmm. early in the um, competition, I think it was great mm -hmm. so that she doesn't, you know, harm them. I mean, they end up winning uh, the silver medal, which was which was great. Yeah. Still in and of itself. Of course. But, you know, it. it I, I tip my hat to her for knowing herself. Hey, Tiger Woods has pulled out of tournaments before. That's true. And, and to me, my thing is this. She has won two gold medals already. You cannot question her commitment to excellence. And we all know just in sports in general, you know, people pay banged up all the time. Oh and in goodness. any sport, right, nobody mm -hmm. is – ever really healthy. You talk to football players and they, any football player tell you the only day I was healthy was the first day of training camp. Exactly. <laughs> After the first day of training camp, they were no longer yeah. healthy the rest you, of the season. You just had to fight through it. And so you know that Simone has probably had to deal with injuries, nagging, little problems. So, man, people chill out. You know, she got two gold medals for us. And guess what? Anyway, our girl Sunny Lee brought the thing home any damn way, did, so it don't matter. That. Exactly. <laughs> it don't matter. She, Still, she, we kept it in the family anyway. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we kept Congratulations. It in, Congratulations, Sunny. Congratulations to the lady gymnasts. Mm -hmm. The team won silver medal. She yep. won the gold. So, you know, shut the hell up. Exactly. And Simone, we'll see you again. Keep yeah. doing your thing, girl. Bump them. <laughs> Bump <Bump> them. <laughs> so, why are we here today? Mm. I forgot. You know what? We you we get to talking and just enjoying the conversation. That's part of the chatting. Mm -hmm. That's part of the Puff chatting. chat repeat. In in our in our in our slogan, our motto, our tagline. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, we're here to do some work with this uh, Basil Hayden. Yeah, so we love Basil Hayden's. As you know, we love all of our whiskeys. And he said it right. I said it wrong, but say it again. Basil Hayden's plural. Exactly. A lot of people just call it Basil Hayden. So you see the bottle here, nice amber color there. Um, so. It's a Kentucky bourbon. Let's get right into it. You know, distilled in Kentucky, as most good whiskeys are. Nelson County, Kentucky, to be specific. Never been to Nelson's County, but, you know, maybe one day <laughs> we'll go visit the distillery yeah, or something I, like I that. Been, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's actually um, from the family of Jim Bean. So it's one of Jim Bean's bourbons, all right? And that I didn't That I didn't. A lot of people didn't know that, that yeah. Know. It's a subsidiary of uh, Suntory Holdings, a Japanese distillery. So mm -hmm. it's actually, they purchased it at some point okay. in the past. Those Japanese, um, they, they getting into this they little whiskey into and bourbon. They, yes, they're not playing. Oh, yeah. Don't sleep on them. Uh, and it's an 80 proof bourbon. So to me, 80 proof is where you want to be when it's hot outside like it is right now. Oh, my goodness. You know, you, you want to... You could drink this neat. Mm -hmm. You could put it on the rocks. Basil Hayden is very versatile. It, it's great in cocktails. Mm -hmm. and uh, But it's just a good all-around whiskey. And it's a very distinctive bottle with the paper on the outside. So you've probably seen it. Got the little metal band on it. And it's got the little BH engraved. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it almost looks like yeah. a champion World Wrestling Federation championship you know, it's a belt. belt. It's wearing a belt. It's because the champion of bourbons. <laughs> I, I say, you know what? I like the, the first time I had this and the first time I saw it. Mm -hmm. I love it. It just drew me, the, uh -huh. the, the rapping and everything. Mm -hmm. I think everybody who has a bar should have this at least sitting, you know, it in should their bar. Be a staple. It, yeah, it just looks nice. It looks nice, yep. you know. So. And it's a go-to as well. Like mm -hmm. when you're in a bar and you're, and you're a bourbon person and you want something smooth and you're trying to like be kind of chill, you're not trying to go too hard. To me, Basil Hayden's one of those go-tos. Really smooth. It's going to it taste is. good and, it's, you know, and you can drink it slowly. Now, I was introduced <laughs> to Basil Hayden's during the uh snowmageddon mm -hmm. some years ago mm -hmm. so i was stuck in the house with this thing for like two days it didn't last two days but, but yeah, had, you know yeah, shit. I've had fond some, memories yeah i've had some basil hayden's that didn't last a day but i had help though <laughs> i didn't do it all by myself i didn't do it all by myself so hey one thing interesting fact about this you we talked about on some other podcasts how especially some of the single malts mm -hmm. when you talk about scotches how they go back like hundreds of years in right. some cases Basil Hayden was actually introduced. Now, the distillery has been around a long time, but this particular bottle was introduced in 1992. And so it's not that old. And that's, so you're talking about almost 30 years. I it's think not that this long is ago. the youngest. I think this is the youngest one that we've had yeah. outside of some of the, yeah. you know, there's been a couple of Maybe the Akashi's yeah. Japanese was pretty mm -hmm. new, but this is this. I mean, for the taste and seems like it has rich, rich heritage and tradition. It seems like it would be older, yeah. way older. Yeah. While yeah. we talk about this being back in 19, coming for, you know, being introduced in 1992, the actual Basin Hayden's family mm -hmm. goes way back. Okay. I mean, I'm talking like way back. I'm talking to like some Braveheart shit, you know? Oh. Uh, yeah, so it can be traced back to England. Freedom. 
to the period shortly after the Normans conquest. I'm not a history buff, so uh, I can't describe the Normans conquest to anybody, but I've heard it. And basically it was that one of their ancestors mm -hmm. was knighted by Sir Richard the Lionheart of England in the Holy Land. Wow. back in the conquest back in like 1190 so that's so while this might only be for 1992 the family heritage goes around. like way back the hayden so wow and actually they spelled, they spelled it different too because this is what basil haydens with an e they actually spelled it basil haydens with the o haydens back in the day oh, okay. for some reason Maybe we Americanize it or whatever. Yeah, but uh, it we was tend, interesting. We tend to do that a yeah, lot. Yeah, you know, we said the O didn't make sense, so we said we'd put an E in there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're gonna pour this, man. Let's check it. Let's check it out. Because mm. we we've all as we do on the Stigman podcast, we are drinkers. We love our whiskey. We love our single malts. But it's rare that we take the time to slow it down and actually think about what the hell we actually sipping on. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm about to say I'm having a little trouble. It didn't. Yeah. It didn't want to loose me. But you know what? <laughs> you can't fight the feeling. Mm -mm. You know, we don't broke some corks before. Oh yeah. Thank you, sir. As ain't always, ain't never stop us from drinking. I'm now, please don't today. try this at home. Yeah, light pour. I'm going light pour today because yep. I'm trying. And Is check that? the glass out. ASW, thank you for these whiskey tulip glasses. For those who don't know, we got to drink out of a tulip glass. It just it. It does impact the quality of the sip, in my opinion, because you're able to sip it a little slowly. Yeah. Yeah, just by the, by the shape of the glass, the way the glass allows it to breathe, just adds a little something to it. So, I'm hey, gonna, you know why they call it a tulip glass, right? Because it's shaped like a tulip, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> <laughs> just make it show. Some folks be like, I don't know what. I thought it was a trick question. I was like, like oh, because you have you, to put your two lips on it to drink it. That that would have worked too. Yeah, but but I, I you threw me though because I was like, what the <laughs> hell? I, I was thinking, oh shit, I should know this. <laughs> but it's a tulip glass. All right. Let's so see. I'm gonna get see what the nose got in this a little bit. As always, we breathe in. You want to get that full flavor, you. You kind of open your mouth a little bit and you'll feel that go through. This definitely has a um, very kind of almost you smell like caramel toffee kind of mm -hmm. right away. Yeah. It's, it's got a candy kind of smell when you uh, that's ex bring that's it exactly in. What, that's exactly what I'm getting. Like I'm getting some kind of candy, like I'm about to eat candy. And exactly. this is go. this might go down like candy, too. Very nice. So, so I get candy. Would you agree with that? You have yeah, something I'm, different. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting anything different than that. So my nose can't even fit in this tulip glass. <laughs> the pros say that we should nose spices. Okay, but that's Definitely. so random. It just yeah. says spices. Everything yeah. has spices in it. Exactly. Uh, specifically with some herbal and tea fragrances. Herbal and tea. I don't know what herbal nose is like. Tea. I could actually see tea though. I'm not a huge tea drinker, but obviously I've had my share of tea. I've, so. I've never seen tea, though. I've seen Michael. Okay. <laughs> uh, but that. But I'm yeah. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. You ready for sip? Cheers. Cheers. Basil Hayden's. Basil Hayden. Roll it around the mouth a little bit. Mmm. Uh, mm. It never disappoints. Never. Disappoint. Never disappoints. So what am I tasting here? Definitely, they says uh, we should know some spices. And when it first hits the tongue, it is spicy. It actually yeah. has a little spiciness to it. Almost as somebody just added a little extra pepper or seasoning mm -hmm. in it. That's what I, when I get, when I first hits the tongue. And then it slowly uh dissipates you know that spice as, yeah. as, as it goes down yeah it as just it it's kind of spicy and it sits there for a second <laughs> and then it kind of starts to ease up for me a little bit i don't know what i'm tasting and, in that spice though and of course real real smooth uh you know that's my thing it, it's, it's oh, very smooth. smooth is not a question it's super very smooth, smooth. So, but you you do i'm not detecting any fruit for yeah. me personally I think there's I'm, some I'm still in stuck, there. I'm still stuck on what we smelled in the, either the caramel or the toffee. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It might be some nilators or something. Nah. I don't know. <laughs> Man, you know went old school with the nilators, bro. <laughs> i give me some nilators right now if somebody had some. Mm. Um, hmm, we used to fight over nilators yeah, in school, man. True. We used to 
Not fight, because I was never a fighter, but we'd argue. We did a, we did a lot of, a lot of we, arguing. We, we bet it. And we would bet, yeah. yeah we bet it yeah. for now later. So. Yeah, we would play football for now later. You remember the little football, the little, the oh, yeah, little paper little, football uh-huh. you click it? Yeah, yeah. Most we, definitely. We would play football for the now later. <laughs> Lord, yeah, I was going hard. We was baby. going hard, baby. Uh, so the pros say that we should get, I'll say I'm impressed with myself. It says we should get some flakes of white pepper in the tasting. Okay. Says we should get some orange peel. That might explain hmm. some of the spiciness. Hmm. Okay. You, ever, you ever been into a little bit of orange and peel? It kind of has a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That might that. be what I get on I got the tongue that. a little bit. Uh, says lemon and corn notes uh, are offset by a gentle cinnamon. That that the, cinnamon that, that might could that could be the that spice. Mm-hmm. Well, cinnamon is a spice, of course. Yeah, but then it dissipates as it slowly. Maybe that cinnamon is what's chilling it out a little bit. And so it starts out a little peppery mm-hmm. and kind of comes back with that cinnamon kind of finish, maybe. Now, just to let just to let our listening audience know, when we get the the experts, uh, what they say we should be tasting, you know, we're experiencing that right now. Mm-hmm. So we might say, I'm getting something. I don't know what it is. But mm-hmm. when they say it, it's like, bang, mm-hmm. that's what it is, mm-hmm. because we don't sit up and do a pre sip and say, hey, this is what it is. You're seeing this live now. Yes, we've had this before, but mm-hmm. we're just sitting around drinking and talking about whatever. And talking shit, and we so, not th- we just know it tastes good, yeah. but we're not thinking about how it tastes. Exactly. <laughs> so we're you're getting this from us, like right here on the spot, and that's what I love. Just to it, it's it's educational to us that as is. well. Hopefully, it's educational to you mm-hmm. as uh, what you should experience. And I suggest so. everybody at home, whatever your favorite spirit is, slow it down one day. Yeah. Like you're going to always drink with your family and friends and kick it. And then when you're getting it in, you're really not thinking about it. You just know something tastes good. Mm-hmm. But when you got that quiet moment, slow it down yeah. and, and, and think about the spirits that and, you're drinking and, a little and, bit. And, and learn to appreciate it. Just That's like a good, a good cigar, you want to mm-hmm. sit back and uh, appreciate like um, uh, someone said. It's like you don't want to be cutting the lawn and smoking. You want to sit back, back and, and enjoy, enjoy. A, a good, good cigar. Stick. Yes. The same thing. Yes. Same thing with a same thing with a good bourbon whiskey. Yeah. Now the last note that they said that the pro said that uh, this is where I got the candy said mm-hmm. from. It actually says that you should get a little rye spice, which I don't know what rye spice is, but it also says sweet caramel. Yeah. Well. They're so that's where the candy. Caramel. Sweet candy. caramel. Yeah. And actually, um, one of my favorite single malts has a lot of caramel flavor in it. The Glenfiddich is fifteen, so mm-hmm. this kind of gives you a little bit of that. But this feel to it, but this is different because it's bourbon. So yeah, and this is this is this is real really good and mm-hmm. definitely one that you should have um, in your bar on your shelf. Yeah, and the finish is just really nice. Um, it actually says something interesting about the finish because I didn't, it says that the finish should be brief. It's a brief finish. It, which yeah, it kind of like it goes fast. It, it goes. It, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Cigar down. Oh. Cigar down. I got to get it back up. Hold on. <laughs> Cigar down. Matter of fact, I'm going to relight. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but no, brief finish. Yeah, um, it does dissipate really fast and mm-hmm. smooth, which for some people can be dangerous because mm-hmm. they can continue to drink that, and drink. That's and right, because they go to the next port yeah, real fast. You want to. Take your time. Yeah. And it also says the finish has a light vanilla oakiness. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not getting any vanilla, but, you know, my taste buds don't always work well, so <laughs> it might be plenty of vanilla. I mean, you might get, you might you get might the get vanilla, vanilla oaky. Yeah. You might right. get the white pepper. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen white pepper before, but I'm mm-hmm. quite sure it's probably some albino pepper out there somewhere. There is some white pepper. Matter of fact, I have white pepper, mm-hmm. and I bought it for one purpose, because I found this recipe, and you know what? White pepper goes great on mm. scallops. Mm. Put a little white pepper on scallops. Well, you and these scallops, boy. Bro, I'm, a, I'm from Florida, man. Did oh, I say yes, that before? Yes, you did. <laughs> I'm from Florida. Yes, you, did. you did say that. <laughs> Stickman X behind the camera know what I'm talking about. There you go. He, said, he, 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 he done the gave the fist up. up. He knows. He knows what you're talking about. So that, I got you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. And so, as usual, you know, uh, we balling on a budget at the stick man and this bottle is about $40 on average So yep. it's a great great deal great value if you great want deal. a super smooth Kentucky bourbon You probably heard the name basil Hayden's before and if you haven't uh, go check it out $40 It's definitely great. Uh, it goes well with almost anything yep. you can put you know a lot of people we talked about We like to drink most of our whiskeys uh, neat, but this one actually does well on the rocks and a lot of people love when you think about bourbon cocktails, mm-hmm. Basil Hayden's, because of the price, 
Mm-hmm. If you want to step it up a notch from like maybe a random $15, $20 bottles that mm-hmm. a lot of people mix cocktails with, if you want to do something that makes the cocktail pop, Basil Hayden's it's is like, one. It's like, like a top shelf. It yeah. makes it a top shelf cocktail yeah, yeah. when yeah. you when you use Basil Hayden because mm-hmm. it's considered it's considered top shelf. Yeah, so you can't go wrong with it. So Basil Hayden's, love it. Sent, what would you give this overall? Now that you've taken the time to slow it down, mm-hmm. Enjoy the basil haze instead of gobbling it up like we usually do. Exactly. <laughs> what would you say? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give it a three quarter stick. Yeah. Um, it's it it can be a go to. It can. I be. consider it a go to. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I've never, never had a bad sip of basil haze, mm-hmm. um, and you know. Ladies, this would be something good to gift uh, for your husband. Uh, or fellas, gift or f- to your sisters that love their uh, Exactly. They, they Exa- and, it, and it looks foo-foo-ish <laughs> as well. Well, I don't know with the little championship belt on that it that well, the Basil Hayden saying, bottle it, it has some design. It has some design. I would, I, okay, I'll take the foo back, but it has a little design. So if you wanted to gift it, fellas, if you want to gift it to your lady friends who drinks, it's still nice. Mm-hmm. Um, they probably had it in... Uh, anyway before so yeah so basil hayden's rock solid choice mm-hmm. uh great kentucky bourbon much smoother than some of the other burdens bourbons that are out there not that you know some of the other ones are harsh or anything mm-hmm. but at 80 proof you could drink it all day you can, every day literally but i don't recommend drinking every day but if you got a problem and you got to drink basil hayden's uh, if you got a that. problem go seek help <laughs> once you get your help mm-hmm. then drink it sparingly Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. So, Simp and Joyce in here chatting it up with Basil Hayes with you. You guys have been checking out the Stigman Podcast. It's football season, baby. Hey. Get ready. The home of the Buccaneers. And my <laughs> Detroit Lions are going to shock the world. I promise you. They're going to shock the world. Don't look at me in that tone of voice, <sighs> Stickman, number one. Don't look at me in that tone of you voice. You know what? You know what, Simp? Because we used to be family back in the day, you know, when the Bucks and the Lions played in the same division. Uh, we used to be rivals, but now mm-hmm. no longer. Now y'all are like a long lost cousins. I kind of root for y'all. I'd be like, whatever happens, I hope, if you he, look I hope at, he's doing okay. If you <laughs> look at Barry Sanders' highlights, most of the highlights of his are against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, that shit is disrespectful so. too. It's very disrespectful, but he's right. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. <laughs> Barry used to run circles around us Ooh. for some reason, but he ran circles around a lot of people. But he ran extra circles around Tampa Bay. I remember one Bay. time Barry juked out. 10 players on the defense. He was about to score. He stopped. He said, I missed one. He ran back to the 11th player on defense, juked him out, then ran and scored. And I heard the cameraman fail, too. <laughs> you know, I heard the, key, the, he- the cameraman's ankle got broke on that one. Oh, Lord. But no, uh, check out the podcast. Hey, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little alert notification bell, and comment, as always, let us know what you think. You know, we had a good time sipping on some Basil Hayden. And puffing on ATL cigars. Good trouble, baby. Good trouble, baby. Check them out. So uh, I'm Stickman number one, and this is... Stickman Simp, y'all. Hey, and we got my man Stickman X in the background, making sure we stay on task. Uh, Until next time, Puff Sip, chat, repeat. I'm out. This is Stickman number one. Thanks for checking out that episode. We really appreciate your love and support. Please show your appreciation. Go get some Stickman swag, stickman.blog. We got Puff Sip Chat t-shirts. We got some great hoodies. We got whatever you need and whatever color you want to see it in. So check us out. I'm Stickman number one. Till next time, Puff Sip Chat repeat, baby. I'm out. Peace.